so we have a dilemma. Our storage building is getting ready to twist off the legs. As you can see, this one's angled out. That one's angled out. The doors aren't shutting right. I got that motion detector floodlight off Amazon, 1999. That thing is pretty darn bright. And I love the settings on it. This is what we keep the four wheelers on lawnmower in. We haven't been keeping them in it because I'm afraid it's going to fall off the legs. The doors are getting more and more uneven. That's the reason why. See how the legs are out? We've got 20 cinder blocks and about 6 cat blocks. I talked to two guys that move these for a living. And they can't move it because of the telephone pole and the guide wires and the hill. It's steeper behind here than it looks. She's friends. That's what she does when her friends come over. So any input would be greatly appreciated. A comment or email us or Instagram us or Facebook us. Anybody in the NRV that would like to volunteer to help us do this. Um, I can cook a steak dinner. You don't have a lot of money to fork out. We thought about putting a center box under here and jacking it up. And then setting it down on center block footer. He can't cook it. Can't cook it. Kick it. So, any input, I want to get a roof on it like on the house. I am going to paint it once we have it seated again. I'd really like to move it. Move this one and my tin one. Back them up against the property line there. But I can't find anybody to move them. So, and I wouldn't want to put anybody in danger getting on that hill behind there. So, all right where they are so any input on how to get this thing on legs uh to where it'll hold two four-wheelers on a riding lawnmower a heavy riding lawnmower um comment email instagram or facebook us anybody in the nrv who would like to volunteer to help us hint hint somebody we don't know what we're doing um, let me know. I'll cook a steak dinner and give you a little bit of money. So, that's it for now. This building, the leg on the back corner over here has got to be fixed. And I can do that myself. See how they're bowing. My wild strawberry plant. It's really starting to grow now. Getting the fingers on it. I found three more of these wild plants. I'm going to dig them up tomorrow and plant them right here. If you've never had wild strawberries, you don't know what you're missing out on. They never get bigger than your pinky nail. So, anybody got any input? Let me know. I just, I'm scared that this thing's going to fall over and we're going to be shit out of luck because I got stuff in it right now. So, thank you for watching. If you comment or message us or something, thank you.